All right, hey there, Capricorn. So we are doing your Friday night messages. And this is a 30-day intention reconciliation read. So if you guys want reconciliation, this is going to be your read. Just make sure you pay attention to what I say on anything when it comes to releasing. Um, we have the super full moon tomorrow. It's a blue moon. And those do not show up very often. So the energy is going to be on point. It's Saturday. It's a reason to celebrate. I'm, I get so excited. I'm, I was actually born under a full moon um, in Taurus back in November 20th. I guess that would be future. All right. So I'm excited, you guys. I get excited for the full moon. So listen, you're going to know this is your read by your energy and what you wish to happen with the connection. If that doesn't resonate, check your moon, rising, and Venus. I'm also going to pull what's caused the disconnection to the best of my abilities. Um, so far, I've only seen one kind of ghosted thing that was Taurus entered. That was a Taurus read. So if you got Taurus and you got ghosted, you might want to check that out. All right. So let's just see for Capricorn what your energy is and what you wish to happen with this um, connection. So look at this, um, the devil card is showing up as your card. You could be dealing with, uh, this queen of swords energy represented by a uh, Libra or Virgo. Okay. It does not have to be, um, I will pull more signs when it comes to the person's energy. Uh, the devil card represented by your energy. I feel like the devil card is coming through as fear and ego. All right. So you could be operating your fears based off of your ego. So it's like, you know, you, you're in alignment in one sense. And then you come back in the disalignment because things are not going your way. The Six of Pentacles represents balance, um, all right? So you want balance brought to this connection. You want fairness. You want equality. You want to heal the connection overall. That's what you want to see come through. And I feel like you do want to kind of um, rise above this devil energy. The devil energy, um, to me, the biggest thing that comes through is fear and ego um, operating off of the... Um, the density of where we're at, you know, it's not, it's 3d, but we all embody the devil. We all, every single one of us. All right. And the goal is to come it is to liberate ourselves from this. All right. The, the devil card is liberation and that's where you're at. You want to free yourself from thinking um, negative thoughts. All right. Um, the queen of swords also, um, she represents independence, um, unbiased opinions, um, able to set clear boundaries, being direct, um, sometimes overly emotional, easily influenced and can come off as cold hearted. All right. So any of those qualities could be kind of what you're experiencing right now. But overall, I feel like you want balance when it comes to the connection that's on your mind. You want healing. Um, you want to be able to talk about your emotions with the person that's coming through, um, you don't want to come off as cold. You don't want to come off as um, fear of the unknown either. All right. You want to be liberated from that energy. And I feel overall, you just want balance. The six of pentacles is supposed to be a very successful type of energy. And I feel like that's where you want to see this connection go. So let's see what caused the disconnection for Capricorn. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> so the nine of pentacles um, tells me um, what caused the separation for you guys. Okay. So here's what I'm going to say. I feel like somebody is taking kind of advantage of who you are. Okay. The reason why I'm saying that is because the nine of pentacles comes through as um, somebody who's chasing their own dreams and pursuing their own happiness and embodying their own wish fulfillment. But this is also not recognizing wish fulfillment when it's right in front of your face. All right. So it's like all it's all fun and games until somebody um, gets their eye poked out <laughs> that ace of wands. Um, I feel like what's happening here with you guys, Capricorn, is somebody is being kind of a player. Um, you know, I feel like that ace of wands energy is the male follicle card. It could and it doesn't have to represent male energy. It could represent female energy, somebody using somebody just to get what they want. And that could feel like where you're at with that devil energy. We also have the page of wands. So somebody coming through as immature, um, immature energy. This is somebody who has self-limiting beliefs 
um, who doesn't know their spiritual path. This is somebody who's, who um, is more concerned about what everybody else thinks, um, opposite of being a free spirit. Um, this is somebody who um, puts limits on their potential. This is somebody who, um, you know, um, goes off of everybody else's ideas and patterns and, and ways of thinking and belief. All right. So this person I feel is concerned about what is going on around them more so than the connection. Um, and it, it could even be your energy. So I'm, what I'm saying is the roles could be reversed. All right. Just as well on some of this um, information that I'm pulling here. But what I see is somebody um, ultimately... Okay, regardless of how deep the connection is, because temperance card is a soulmate energy. This is patience, it's balance, it's harmony, it's peace, it's love, it's bliss. And you could actually feel all the emotions when you and this person are having those intimate times. However, it's like when you guys disconnect, when you go your separate ways, it's all about this energy right here, okay? So um, that's kind of where I'm seeing this energy at Capricorn. Let's just see what this person's energy is their energy so they're coming through with ooh, they they so if, if this person's the one that's kind of fucking up here uh well here's what i'm going to say um the lover's card coming through this is indecisive it it was represented in reverse and i just feel like this person they just don't know how to make a, a decision right now all right and that's what they're faced with okay but their energy overall um the lover's card is represented by gemini um this is making a decision it's also soulmate energy we have the hermit card coming through their energy so while you guys have been um separate all right while you guys have been um, not talking to each other um this person's kind of going within um they're being thoughtful they're being analytical uh, but more so i feel thoughtful and this is represented by virgo so that's their energy right there gemini we have virgo coming through here um the seven of wands tells me that this person is taking care of themselves they are not dealing with anybody else even if they came at you or you've only seen lack of interest and lack of effort they are working on themselves right now the three of pentacles is um you know it's it's uh facing um what they know to be their best friend potential best friend potential partnership um and success it's almost like this person's having this realization like what did i do i could have I, i'm potentially losing the best thing that ever could have happened to me right so how do they feel about capricorn how does this person feel they're looking at you as um quite possibly a witchy woman uh somebody who may have cast a spell all right not really but you know what okay they're looking at you as the hangman how they feel about you is somebody who um is uncertain all right um and i feel like that's the biggest um point coming out with this hangman card i feel like they look at you as somebody who is uncertain especially if this person's been wishy-washy and the whole time they've shown you nothing but uncertainty all right they look at you coming through as the queen of pentacles um nurturing somebody who's practical very independent um financially stable um and it could be too that they look at you uh as um a hard-working um a parent if you guys have kids but also um having a, a work and home kind of conflict so maybe not able to give them a bunch of um time and and effort you know what i mean um they come through and see you as a high priestess which is high uh <clears throat> um sorry unattainable energy and the high priestess card is um something someone who represents um um, in, intuition um, it's also soul tie it's soul connection it's divine feminine it's unattainable energy um, and this could be just what you're kind of representing to this person right now the high priestess card is uh, it's it's divine feminine it's a counterpart it's divine counterpart all right so they look at you as you're supposed to be in their life and then also the six of cups is that past life romantic soul tie this is nostalgia so they think about you and when they do think about you they think very very positive positive thoughts all right <clears throat> so are they going to reach out to you look at that you guys got your divine feminine and your divine masculine um the high priestess backed with the magician 
this is divine masculine and divine feminine energy so will they reach out they're manifesting um the return of this connection all right the ace of pentacles i do feel like confirms that this person's going to come at you um in the correct order you could be dealing with this queen of wands energy that's represented by aries and pisces all right but i do feel that this person is going to come through um they're manifesting how to do this you're probably manifesting the return and you guys working together equals double the manifestation so i do feel like this person is going to come at you you do not have to approach them in any way shape or form all right so let's see if this connection is worth your time and investment look at that is it worth your time and investment? So I, I'm going to keep the Seven of Swords in reverse. It, I guess it doesn't matter. The Seven of Swords to me is a stolen heart card. Um, this is all about somebody who's afraid to let somebody in. All right. But there, this connection will move past that uh, unopened vulnerability. Okay. Um, I feel like this connection is going to be, you guys are guided by a uh, major arcana. This tells me that your angels and spirit guides are working to clear the negative energy and karma. All right. So that you guys can come together. Okay. So, um, regardless of what you felt, um, about this person's inability to come through and be correct with you, that's going to be taken care of. All right. You guys will have the opportunity, um, for new beginnings one that's occupied by wish fulfillment and where you can see in the future um your visions hold those visions um capricorn you guys need to hold those visions and be positive and, and forward thinking about those um with that uh, full moon energy too that's coming through tomorrow um write down and purge anything that you do not want to carry over um you know in order to have these new beginnings we cannot represent the past because the past is not going to let us move forward timelines. All right. The past is going to keep us where we're at. We're not going to be able to move forward and, and um, enjoy any sort of wish fulfillment if we're holding on to what we don't have and we're worried about what we don't have. And we're worried about the past. Okay. You want to see new things? It's, it, let's, we're, we're covering the seven of swords by way of the star card. All right. So, yes, I do feel like this connection is going to be worth your time and investment. Um, it's just getting you guys to a point um, that you can see that growth. The Two of Wands is all about uh, these, these, this older couple sitting on the front porch swing, being old and being proud of everything that, that they've grown together as a couple. This is, you know, um, building that empire. It's like looking back and seeing everything that you guys have built and being proud of that energy. So yes, it is going to be worth your time and your investment. So let's just see what their intentions are moving forward. <clears throat> So their intentions, look at manifestation and growth. They're going to let you in. Okay, the four of pentacles in reverse says that this person's going to be ready to let you in. And they're actually calling you in. All right, with that judgment card. They're wondering too, is this connection going to come back around? The page of pentacles is all about manifestation. It's all about luck. Um, this is, uh, um, it's, it's opportunities. It's you know, um, turning over the lack of progress and turning it into progress. Somebody who was a procrastinator learning how to move forward. All right. And this is also learning from failure too. Okay. So their intentions moving forward is to show you that they um, have become a better person and justice card right here, man, balance, karma, and success coming through. So, um, their intentions is to show you somebody different that you have not got to see. All right, and let's see what your advice is. The next 30 days advice. You you, you got to put your fears down. Some of you guys are carrying some fears, um, some burdens. All right, what you cannot see will be shown to you by way of that moon card in reverse. Okay, we're, we're coming out. We're stepping out of the cold. Okay, um, it's not going to last forever. All right, you guys need to um, lay down any burdens of the past that you have not seen that you feel like is uh going against you you need to put that energy in the past and that in that way um you you open yourself up to this um, enhancement all right this new beginning when it comes to this connection all right so let's see what initials are coming through for you guys Please remember that the initials are just um, a side note. Um, the read, the energy of the cards is what is important. So we have R, H, 
D E P W U and we have G coming through and I'm gonna do this we're gonna go ahead and say that the W can be an M just because I know that you guys like to do that to me in the comments but hey it's your prerogative you guys if this resonates I would just ask that you interact with the video uh, by way of liking sharing commenting um, or even subscribing I love you guys I hope you have a beautiful beautiful weekend Capricorn take care